I'm going to go over a tablet caught from the company Uma Digi, I think's how you would say that. And this is the A15 tablet. And just kind of like going over some of the specs on this thing. So looking over the box here, they have the CPU in this thing. They've rated in an A75 2.0 gigahertz and a A55 1.8 gigahertz. And it's running the Android 13 software on it. Eight gigabytes of ROM, 256 gig hard drive, and it uses a SIM 2 or micro SD. The battery capacity on this thing is what's real impressive on this one, is 7,500 milliamp battery. The screen size is a 11 inch, and it's 2,000 by 1,200 pixels. I would say this is more closer to 2K or 1080p. So the back camera is a 13 megapixel plus a two megapixel, and then the front is an eight megapixel. It's got a protective case, it's got a power adapter, a stylus, a man, you know what let's just open it up and let's see what they sent and I've already used it several times I've taken it out I did an update on all the software did everything I needed to do you, number one you get a USB C power brick I always love seeing companies send power brick be C to C cable pin for your SD cards or SIM cards so you got the unit itself it comes nicely packaged here they did a really good job on the packaging. It's pre-cut the way you want it. Let's just set the unit down. You get a set of instructions and it kind of goes over a lot on how to use it. You get a cool stylus. How about this, everybody? And I don't know what that's supposed to be. And I'll put the instructions here and let's just get rid of the box. So number one, looking at it right away, it comes with this. It comes with a case. How about that? This is one of those collapsible cases that folds over and this case will shut it off. Let's go ahead and peel this off. You can see I've had it off. So there's that. And then turning it on is the button right here. So we'll just let it come on. Soon as it comes on, it gives you all of this. It lets me know there's no SIM card. Actually, let me take it out of the case here. Okay, I took it out of its case, so let's go ahead and let's go over the tablet first. You see down here, there's there's one, two, three, four speakers on this thing. So you get two on the top, two on the bottom, a volume tab that goes up and down right here, an on and off tab right there, a microphone right here, USB-C coming out right there, and I think that's another mic right here. Spot right here for an SD card or a SIM card, because you can use this as your phone. So covering up the, the numbers there. There you go, I peeled the little sticker off the back that had all the information on it. And let's just go ahead and open this thing up. So to open it up, I'm gonna hit the button there. Now, as soon as it does, it has all the stuff. You can see I'm still at 90%. I have not used this in a week. Open it like that. It pulls up the screen. Let me go ahead and type in my code. As soon as you type it on, it pops right up. Very responsive, and you can see right there the time it has the Google search bar up there because this is running Android software. And once again, you can config this to all the widgets you want. I uploaded some of my own apps on here to show y'all exactly how well this works. And I'm going to play a game, and then I'm going to also hook a controller to it and use an Xbox controller, and I will use um, watch a movie on, like, YouTube or something. Put it back in the case and show you how well this case works. And just to note, when you cover the camera, so you have to be careful to keep that folded like that so you don't cover the camera. There might be a setting to turn that off. I have not seen it yet but that's how that works and then you can see watch when i close it it actually when you cover that it turns it off so now it's in like standby mode. see how you can hold it like that so if i want to put it up let me try to prop it up for y'all so you can see what's going on so i've got it up like that rotate the screen it's got an auto rotate on it so it rotates and what i'm going to do i'm just going to pull up several things and see how well this works so let's do youtube first so we'll do some you i'll use the stylus YouTube, I already pulled up a, a soccer game. So if you're into sports and you want to watch a soccer game or something, and there's something I want you to do when you get this, hit the little quality up here. It, it's going to always start out in 720p. And then to make it to go to 1080, go over here and see how it's got different settings. Make sure you click the 1080p. Now this is playing in full 1080p. If you look right there, quality, 1080p, playback normal, everything's ready and watch how well this works. Fast forward it here. Yeah, doesn't that look great? So, and then looking at it, so you got the actual without the bezels, you're looking at nine and a half.
by five and a half. So nine and a half by five and a half, and from edge to edge, that's where you're getting the 11. So it's 11 from there, but it's nine and a half by five and a half and 11 by there. So they're pretty spot on on their specs of being 11 inch tablet, a viewing area here. So looking over a football game, that works great. Fo football, soccer, depends on where you're at. And so we'll go ahead and close out the YouTube here. If you want to make phone calls, you can make phone calls or something like that. What I like it for also is, so check this out. So I've got an Xbox controller here, and I've already, and then to sync this thing up, where's my settings? Open the settings here. Go down to connected devices. Xbox controller, I'm at 50 cents. It's already paired. Now let's say a racing game. So you want to play gaming, you want to do that. Let's see how well this thing can run like a racing game. So now we'll put this down. We'll let this load for a minute and then we'll go ahead and start a game. This will give you an idea how well this processor can handle like being loaded because games uh, runs a lot. Let's turn it up just a little bit. Listen to those speakers. I don't know how well you can hear those speakers. Now, Asphalt's Legend is just a game that goes, because it's meant to be played right here, but check it out. Check that out. There's the drift. Do some boost. I can tell y'all, it's handling this game extremely well. Very impressive on how well it handles these games because a game is something that takes like a lot of processing power to make work. How about that? First place. Works well with the controller. I can't pull up. I play a lot of first person shooter games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, things like that. But because of the restrictions on the videos, I can't show that in the video. But I can tell you all it runs extremely well on those types of games, whether it's Call of Duty or Battlefield or like any type of racing games. And I'll go back and forth. And sports game works really well. Look how well this thing works. This is the free version. So you know what? There's not much on that. So look how you can close it out and then open it right back up and look how clean that is. And I've loaded a lot of stuff on here. Okay, now let's just try some first person shooters. This is what I have this, uh, this tablet for the most. I wanna see how it runs this. So I'm in Nuketown, I'm on Frontline. Let's see how quickly. Look at that everybody. There's like no latency in this. Don't you run from me. You can see how well it works with this. Get down, sniper. Never mind. Sniper eliminated. Killer drone on standby. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Very impressive on how well it runs a first person shooter game, which is one of the harder games to run. Contact with that. It's in service. Missile inbound. Uh, what else so we're running in the background you can see the different stuff all the things i'm running there so open up the settings there you can do like you can hot spot and tether off your cell phone you can see my battery so looking over the storage i've got 30 i've used 34 gigs of 256 gigs you've got the system free up space let's go do we have the display you can change display brightness let's go ahead and go all the way to max there is adaptive brightness on this, but I will not use that. Let's just take a quick picture. So there is a pro version on this. This is where it kind of lacks a little bit. Let's turn. Obviously, with a tablet like this, it's not going to be, I, I would not recommend it for taking pictures. Uh, because it is a 13 megapixel camera and my iPhone takes way better pictures. I would think this does the job. The one thing that it does, it has a front facing camera so you can do Zoom meetings or um, FaceTime or anything like that. I've been using this off and on for about maybe 
two weeks. Who I think this is good for, I think this will be a good tablet for anyone that's just wanting kind of an all-around tablet that's affordable and can do everything you need, whether it's play games, watch movies, or do shopping online or something like that, or read a book. For the actual size of this thing and how it looks, I think it's a great value for anybody that's wanting kind of like a, a great little do-all top tablet. So yeah, there it is, everybody. That's all I got on the Uma Digi. 11-inch tablet. See you all in the next video.